Hi there, this is Solitary Ronan from Solitary Ronan Films and welcome to another episode of my Eurekas in a Row where I go through my um, Eureka Masters of Cinema um, line and pick out my consecutive spine numbers. Um, this episode, there's actually quite a few in a row um, which gives more of a sense of what Masters of Cinema is about because they are from all over the place, from Italy, um, in Australia, uh, Germany, from silent and sound. Um, so again, I'm not going to go through them in too much detail. You can play along at home and let me know which ones you have and which ones you've seen. So we'll start with one that's um, out of print cost a little bit of money um, to actually pick up. It's spy number 87 um, from one of my favourite Italian directors that aren't um, obviously the big Italian directors because I'm not actually a huge fan of the big Italian directors um, but this is Francesco Rossi's Hands Over the City um, or La Mani Sulla Sitta um, bizarrely starring Rod Steiger um, this is from 1963 and again it's very much um, a pre John Sayles City of Hope, a pre um, The Wire. Um, this is about the levels of how a city runs um, from construction um, to the politicians the council members, developers. Um, this is perhaps not amongst Rossi's greatest work, but then Rossi's greatest work is spectacular. Um, obviously there's lots of gesticulating and shouting in this film. Again, this is an earlier one from MOC, so it's a DVD and Blu-ray, um, but you do get a wonderful booklet. Yeah, I think this one is, there's Rossi and Steiger, um, yeah this one's out of print, um, it is also available on Criterion, I think it's Criterion DVD only, but someone can correct me on that. It's another wonderful um, Rossi film, and it's another um, wonderful Steiger performance. And then spine number 88 is Todd, Co Todd Ted Kotcheff's even um, Wake and Fright which is about a, a city school teacher being lost um, in the Australian outback um, and it's fairly nightmarish um, and Ronan Nazarin talks our most recent um, discussion with Chris Mohan and the Vulgarian Troglodyte was scary non-horror films and you could probably put Wake and Fright into that list. Um, but all Donald Pleasance turns up, gives a wonderful performance. Um, it's from 1971. You can almost feel the burning heat as our protagonist um, goes from one nightmarish scenario to the other. Again, this is a Blu-ray DVD, but I've given the DVD away. And you do have another um, chunky booklet with the wonderful um, kangaroos, um, who do appear quite a bit in the film, um, in various states of um, upset. And of course you get Lots of Australian character actors, and as I say, Donald Pleasance turns up, um, as he has the habit of doing. Um, this one's got a feature length commentary with Ted Kocheff and editor Anthony Buckley, a video interview from 2009 with Todd Kocheff, 
um, a video piece on the rediscovery and restoration of the film and a vintage piece on um, Wake and Fright. So that's a wonderful, um, odd, disturbing little film. Um, it is an 18 because it contains strong scenes of kangaroo hunting and slaughter. So if you've got a pet kangaroo, you might want to put it away when you're watching that film. Um, I should say, the hands across the city, there is a, an interview with Francesco Rossi, um, a screenwriter Raphael LaCapria and um, film critic Michelle Cement. Um, so that's the extras on Hands Across the City, which I forgot to let you know about. Um, and then number 89, it's an American film, apologies, um, Ilya Kazan's Boomerang with Dana Andrews um, from 1947, um, which is a wonderful um, little piece about um, the abuse of justice. Um, it's only 88 minutes long, um, doesn't need to be any longer. It's really tight. Dana Andrews, again, not the greatest actor in the world, um, but he's solid in this. Again, this is Blu-ray and DVD with a lovely little booklet. And there's Kazan. Obviously some people have really strong feelings about Kazan. Um, this one has a feature length commentary by film historians Elaine Silver and James Ursini. Ayla Kazan, An Outsider, a 1982 documentary about the filmmaker by Annie Trescott and Michelle Cement. Um, and again, a 44 page booklet. So Boomerang's a nice little Dane Andrews film. And then we've got a couple of Fritz Lang Silence. So number 90, we have Spioni, or Spies. Um, again, Blu-ray and DVD and a chunky little booklet. I've only seen this once and to be honest I can't actually remember that much about it. I know it's terrible. Um, this is from 1928. Um, this has um, alternate piano score, um, original German intertitles optional English subtitles and is a 71 minute documentary in the film which is Blu-ray only and a 52 page booklet. Spione. And then we have spine number 91, Frau and Mond, um, Woman in the Moon and um, this is from 1929. This is 169 minutes um, and again, this is Blu-ray and DVD. This has some absolute brilliance in it. Um, and some langueurs, if that's the actual proper term. Um, 169 minutes is probably a bit too long. Um, but again, when it was made, it's rather wonderful. Um, 1929. Um, this has original German intertitles with optional English subtitles and a 15 minute documentary, um, the first scientific science fiction film and a 40 page booklet. So that's number 91, The Moon and the Moon. And then number 92 is Robert Vina's Das Cabinet Das Dr Caligari um, from 1920. This has the Blu-ray and the DVD, which I have given away. And obviously they get the booklet with the famous artwork. If only all our, the inside of our homes looked like this. What a world that would be. Um, you could argue the production design is the star of the show, but it's Conrad Veidt, obviously, because um, we all like a bit of Conrad Wright. Or maybe it's just me, I don't know. 
um, this is seminal seminal um, so this one you've got it's a 2014 restoration um, the origin, original German intertitles with optional English subtitles there's a new and exclusive feature length audio commentary um, by film scholar and historian David Kalat. there's a new documentary Caligari the birth of horror in the first world war you must become Caligari a new um, video essay um, by David Cairns is always good um, on the restoration, three short video pieces about the 2014 restoration um, and a trailer for the new release of the restoration and a 44 page booklet and then last couple of years or was it last year um, they released a 4K so again it's spine number 92 um, and the 4K and again you get his eyes are shut his eyes are open, unbelievable. Um, you get a beautiful chunky booklet um, with images and words. What will I think of next? Um, yeah, top class. Top class Conrad Veidt. If only we had Conrad Veidt as Dracula. And there's just the 4K disc on its own. So yes, I have it in 4K Blu-ray and DVD. Um, and again, the 4K, um, there's a 2014 score. There's also a 2019 score. And there's a new commentary by Kevin Lyons and Jonathan Rigby. So I'm certainly down for that. There's a commentary by David Collat, which is on the... Blu-ray edition. The Asylum in Film is a brand new interview with Kim Newman we all love a bit of Kim Newman You Must Become Caligari which again was on the Blu-ray DVD release Caligari, The Birth of Horror in the First World War, the 52 minute documentary which again was on the Blu-ray release uh, The Restoration, the three short videos which is on the Blu-ray release um, and the 100 page book So that's the 4K of Dr Caligari um, which is spine number 92 and then finally spine number 93 um, it's Ernst Lubitsch's Madame du Barry uh, which also includes um, When I Was Dead his 1916 film which I think I actually prefer that to Madame du Barry um, this is from 1919 it's 114 um, minutes um, there's no extras on it Apart from the booklet, again this is a Blu-ray um, DVD. So this is more of a historical drama than obviously what were what Lubitsch would come to be famous for. Um, again, it's a good film. It's a solid film. Um, I wouldn't rave about it because, um, let's be honest, I have it because it's Lubitsch. Um, but it's certainly worth picking up if you're a Lubitsch fan because, as I said, you get I wish I was dead. Oh, wait, now he's dead, sorry. Oh, Freudian slip. Um, yeah, so that's spine number 93, because you get two early um, Lubitsch films, and you can't have enough Lubitsch. So that's spine number, um, was it 87 to 93? So please let me know in the comments how many of these films you've seen, how many you have on Eureka Masters of Cinema, how many you have on other formats, other labels, and hopefully you'll join me again for the next episode of my Eurekas in a Row. I think we're back to just three titles in a row for the next video. So thanks very much for watching as always. Appreciate the support, and hopefully you'll join me again, as I said, for the next episode of my Eurekas in a Row. This is Solitary Ronan from Solitary Ronan Films. Sing farewell.